Well, Hammurabi, Hammurabi, whom uh, some European uh, uh, um, who call themselves, you know, scholars, uh, seem as a, um, they want to be like him. They want to be like him because he was evil and he kept slaves. Uh, yeah, no, they want to be like him because they think it's cool. Must have been in Gnomen, in a, in a clockwork, in a clock. Uh, um, uh, right uh, over uh, where Hammurabi has been writing his, writing his work, his rare bird. It must have been right above it because um, it's it's so uh, cruel. This code of laws, it's completely it's completely um, well. Is it somehow uh, interrelated with Israel? Um, well, you know, in Israel, like slaves. No, like it's a uh, wait. The, then what kind of civilization is that? If um, Islam is one thousand five hundred years old. Um, well, if it's, all right, it's, it's written in, uh, 38, uh, 38 before, uh, 38,000, 38,000, no, 3,800 years ago. It's in, it's written in, uh, 3,800, probably says, you know, but, oh, come on, like, look at those names. They look, uh, yeah, but it comes from this. Yeah, I'm not saying the band's great, it's great. I'm not, like, it's really deep, and people were into that. Mm -mm. Uh, but no, like, okay, it says about agriculture. Kohenet, oh, I like it, Kohenet. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Um, where people did not know Hashem and stuff, well, maybe, I don't know, it says that they have. They've been always since birth, and they've been since their very amazing birth. Yet, um, yet, uh, um, their parts of them were entrapped in um, oh this is good and oh that's great but like what, what about the other end uh, because we're reading on this now this is this is wisdom that's uh, that that's great uh, Navon uh, that's great Navon uh, oh how the books come alive it's so great you got a book here and in this, well, it's it's a it's a booklet, it's a, it's a cocklet. Like we don't, you know, we don't, we don't have those like half stages in in uh, this uh, the, our you know world. We don't have half stages. Like, we don't have people don't go uh, even like if it, yeah, youth. The youth are going. They're going to Beit Sefer. They're uh, they are educating, uh, and they we don't have the stages of bachelorship. Yeah, but same same as in like serious subjects when they're actually but well, you're not endangered but like you're born perfect. It's a perfect world. It's a perfect world and literally oh yeah, it literally and it's a perfect perfect and uh, therefore you, there's never need a medical necessity. Yeah, but in a medical so what are doctors for then? Like the the phys physicians, why are they for? To make you yeah, more beautiful to to bond collagen molecules together with uh, with. They constantly uh, uh, work are doing their scientific work and scientific research to make uh, uh, to, to make the society look beautiful. And that they're doing only one task, task, and namely it is to make you look amazing, feel happy, and have all those like great properties to uh, to, to live forever and, and go on uh, infinitely. Um, also, yes, and to enjoy the life as amazing as you can have, uh, and it's actually, it is, it is genuine, it is, it is, uh, as a matter of fact, taking place, it's taking place, um, and so there, we, we don't have, no, I'm literally saying about, uh, my, my experience, you know, I went to university, I went to law school for years, and, and the deans, they were talking, I was, uh, yeah, you know, like, I, I was in love with like one such person, like a man, you know. And they were saying, I remember they were saying, uh, well, that was Lifne, um, um, that was Lifne, Esrim Shana, approximately. I wasn't born yet. And, and they were saying that um, they were, no, you're, you're making, you're making the curriculum of education. You're, you're, you're like making decisions. And they were saying that, 
uh, we're not putting stages of bachelorette especially for yeah for everyone man. For, we're not making bachelorettes out of like women men the young young girls and boys because uh it's it's a it's like a half you know have you ever heard of the term halfway house i think you haven't would not want to hear that because those are like those are uh parts of like now people there are a lot of them uh, live in halfway homes like have you ever seen one like that well i haven't but uh, i can i no, i i can picture that but it comes in film film the ones they have in your head so uh um uh, that's a half measure a nurse is also a half measure they're nice but like why not go and like get, get you're getting your full education are we getting a full valid person? But sometimes, I don't know what's great, when uh, when it turns out that the person that was performing uh, uh, the the um, the like the I don't even know another name to to say nurse like the nurse, but not nursing that they're breastfeeding, but they're like you know they're doing the easy task. Not because a nurse follows orders. A nurse is a person who follows orders of another and uh they they are good they're like empathetic, empathic and they're really nice they're really, they're really good physically they understand things but they are nonetheless not decisive it's not a decision maker it, the nurse is not a is not a um a, 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 a unit a uh, entity that's uh, making their own decisions and they are uh, following orders but not orders in a BDSM scene, yet in a like real serious, uh, serious, serious, uh, uh, mm, uh, circumstances. Like not that somebody's in danger because they're not. Like I'm saying, they're not in danger, yet um, it's a, it's a, a, a it's a job that uh, is not uh, inventive it, well invention it's like oh you're inventing you can become rich and if you actually have the inventiveness yet uh, it, it's um well only if you're you if you are have you know the power have power of that power of that power of that and uh, up to turn times the, the, the nurses have to be obedient because well their training is really brutal they're getting fucked every day by by, by the uh, by the by the staff you know but like by the staff with with power and not the other nurses but doctors they're fucking the nurses and um they're not even aware of the fact but if they turn out to be like a you know a sneaky fox etc and they, they sneak out the tools which they should uh lose they should be isolated <laughs> they should be uh, go to jail and pay uh you know, like remuneration and they like, fix their wrongs is uh, with uh, if they steal the tools and the tools are not normally like uh, you know uh, knives and scalpel and forks and needles but also uh, but probably also the uh the 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 the, the, the in old names chemicals or, and chemicals because they don't know how to work them they haven't been through uh the the educational part which is like it, it spend weeks uh studying that from books and the, the training of nurses therefore now we in, in this city that we had you know was ages ago they there were there were there as you notice there's no nursing school in in yale and Har in harvard and yale you don't have nursing training because um, if you're making the society of you know the youth you you might you should you should you should, uh, at the same, you should uh, with like one measure, make them already great people without becoming like because it's, it's often the uh, the supposition that they're they're thinking that okay, well our daughter usually because you know only gay boys become nurses, uh, but they can also it's like a man like you're saying the gays are in the military, but you know. It does not make them any worse. A, a, a gay man is going to study linguistics. And only gay in the linguistics, a male in linguistic studies and like you know becoming an English teacher are only gays. And um, in nursing schools, which are sure they should not really be there, um, that that they they are only gay men. Like the weak gay men going don't attend the gym. 
uh, they're like the gays that are skinny and oh, well, you know, I don't know how they survive, whatever. So, uh, <laughs> um, that uh, they, uh, if the nurses, like, they're, they might, it creates a, oh, the, the supposition that the parents are saying, well, our, our daughter usually, and our son, uh, well, you know, I don't know, maybe how, how their family situation was like, maybe they didn't have any parents for him. Uh, so uh, that first uh, our child is going to uh, now go to nursing school then they're gonna uh, uh, up qualify they're gonna fix they're gonna upgrade their education with additional like uh, additional evening school of uh, like you know after class uh, education of uh, class they're already working they're probably pregnant already uh, they're gonna um, um, maybe they can always upgrade to becoming to actually become a doctor uh, that first of they're gonna just work as in childcare or gonna work in as a nurse, but in childcare or like you know taking care. But those jobs are not necessary because if there are so many hordes, uh, so many big legions of, um, of those those semi jobs, uh, semi uh, se semi calling life, you know. Uh, I want. Uh, Semi charmed, semi charmed, uh, semi charmed uh, vision life, baby, baby. Uh, uh, then uh, it's something on the radio that I don't even know the name of that band. I think it's it's really nice though. It's it's cute, you know. Um, semi charmed uh, life, but there has to be another word. Semi charmed kind of life. Um, I want uh, cute, right? So yeah, but so those jobs are not necessary because those nursing schools, there are so many like girls who, ah, but you know what? Don't forget about Mensa. Don't forget about Mensa. Mensa, uh, well, it actually is an, kind of like it, it pulls pools of, of you know, of, of uh, certain persons. You can, always work, you can always improve that. There's always, it's hope. There is hope. You know, there's all, is hope in Mensa that you can improve. It's not, you're not born with it. And then you're born gay. All right, you're born gay. You're never gonna become other than than. Uh, you're always gonna be gay. You're always going to be only interested in gay life, and it's not even in your lifestyle. It's it's how you're having sex. Everything comes down to sex. Yeah, but you can improve your intelligence. You can improve. Yeah, you actually you can. Um, there are many living proofs of this, <laughs> that that you can improve your intelligence, your mental score. Yeah, that you know the international organization that. Uh, segregates people but then the, the mensa people are, are admitted to even even already in elementary education and primary education and not like little kids but like you know they're already sexually um uh, in uh, in uh, blossoming i'm saying blossoming because if you put an emoji if you put a, the word blossom you get a yellow flower and get a light pink flower so i'm using that word you're in um uh, already uh, sexually um, active then uh, then they're putting you in uh, like milieus surroundings environments based on your mental score i mean that the school tests are based on, on I mean, and i haven't been thinking i haven't been thinking of those subjects probably never that the school tests are based on uh, your mental score well perhaps not necessarily, but, I'm, but what if I'm totally tipesh? Ah, oh, tipesh, I don't care, I'm lazy, I like to be bad, um, uh, I like I like to be bad, I'm doing that on purpose because, you know, um, um, I, I, I like uh, intense, uh, I, I, I enjoy intense uh, um, sensations, sensations, I love that. And and uh, I'm 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 looking and seeking more. I'm a I'm asking seeking more. Yeah, I'm a tough I'm a tough uh, uh, tough you know uh, 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 tough uh, uh, unit. Um, I I you know I I've been through uh, the various uh, uh, kufot stages, kufot ages, stages, eras. Uh, I've um, experienced uh, experienced many without the, the but there are certain things I'm never gonna go into. Uh, I, I, no, I, I lived for years in all the old line, old Dominion state. I lived in Virginia. 
I lived in Virginia. There's there's certain things I just I'm not gonna do because, well, I, I'm a classy. You know how I dress? I wear a tie. Oh, tie. Oh, yes. Oh, Daddy's giving me a tie. I have a collection of ties. Some of them are vintage, and then um, uh, but I wear a button shirt, and you know I I really I'm I'm a uh, serious, cautious uh, individual. I also extremely nice and you know sweet and mm, and uh, so uh, highly respectful. Therefore, there are certain things I'm never going to uh, engage in. Uh, okay, so are they segregating? Not segregating. And I just generally uh, grouping persons based on your Mensa score. I just realized that perhaps, like you know, really. Or perhaps the but I know that I know. Therefore, we got a in 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 summon, and in summon in what? In uh, the well, it turns out from 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 the uh, information from from uh, that uh, it turns out that you just got you have to raise your men's score. Ah, isn't that what we're doing like all the time practically? But are you born with it? I don't care if you're born with it. Because, you know, I, I'm not particularly interested in birth, you know, um, obstetricians. People who, oh, give, uh, yeah, babies are cute. But look how many there are people already. And then you can, you can, there's a lot of people and you can restore them. Especially like, you know, otherwise, look how Israel is great. There are only seven, six, six million. Six million citizens. Oh, I gotta, I gotta eat my raspberry. It's, look, I gotta eat my second breakfast. I gotta eat. I have, I have that raspberry uh, picnic thing, and then I was coming back home, and there were all those like I was looking at blackbirds. I liked them. The one blackbird was so eager. I love him. He was like he was he was really big. Well, yeah, we only have like blackbirds here, and he was like um, eating a nut straight from the ground. <laughs> And I was looking at him. I love him. He's so nice. I, the birds like being observed. And then there was like this black car coming right in front of me. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. I, I, I really, I'm, I'm really good with navigation. That's another how I increased my Mensa, because uh, I, I learned within the last decade, without ten years, without the last, within the last ten years, I have greatly uh, learned a lot. I've learned to sing, to, to uh, play music, to sing. I learned um, because reading I already could, and I but I also knew I learned and ah but I could run already in the previous century in the previous kufa in the previous uh, uh, you know uh, 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 ten hundred years, uh, yeah. But I learned I learned um, a couple of great new skills, and also yeah a navigation. Oh, because I run in, ter in I run in in terrain I are in 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 various conditions whether it's slippery or it's icy uh, because before i was only running in parks uh, well i was in, in like you know little places where especially made like on the seas and uh like in in uh, the shorelines and, and the beach i was running at the beach where there was like nobody there uh, but now the conditions you have to navigate because there are uh, other objects moving uh, during so there are uh, cars, uh, people, animals, uh, children. You have to navigate. You have to be cautious when not to like scare you know the other uh, participants of mm, uh, of uh, the the outdoor. Uh, how to navigate, and that really helps. Also, the, the way I'm putting my my uh, gym equipment, my my uh, gymnasium. I've never been to one. Uh, equipment is that. Um, to get, for example, from, you know, to, to get from this carpet uh, to, to from this uh, mat, from this rug to, to, to the other one, I, well, now I, I can, but sometimes when, uh, when the bench, I move the bench here right closer, then uh, I have to, I, I never step on the floor because I don't wash, I just, I just vacuum the floor. Mm, and it's, it's like, it's, it, it is, it's especially per, 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 purposefully, no, uh, per, 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 with purpose, it made uh, so that uh, um, I get another uh, advantage of, of my, my uh, workout area to 
uh, to learn to navigate the objects which don't that don't seem that uh, at first comfortable, but then they turn out that you could just have to like it's a it, it's a, like a survival camp, but like a very really fun one. Like it's colorful, and that's so pleasant. It's 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 really pleasant, Mount Pleasant. And yeah, but it's all, it really helps. It really helps in orientation. It's fun. I love it. And I could do it all the time. And I'm going to do it right now. And uh, one thing I'm missing in, in my gym, uh, is a home gym, is a clock. Like this clock, it stood at 3.15 already four years ago. And um, I really need a clock. By now, clocks, uh, they, they, they are re often uh, battery operated. Look, and you know why Cap Copernic was good? He was great. Now, I know it's not because he was not like Leonardo da Vinci. You know, da Vinci was cutting up people's bodies. And because Copernic was related, because he believed in God, uh, that's how he saw God. That's how, you know, how he saw God. He saw God in uh, Halala Ithom, in and the cosmos and he was a smart wise religious uh, god he god was his probably friend and uh, he had all those instruments he had uh tringverum he had a solar clock uh, he had a he had a um, astrolabium you could buy a necklace like i saw a necklace like that in the um, astroshop.eu he had a uh, globes he had globes various globes and he had uh, uh, compasses and he was not cutting up people's bodies because he said oh another you know man of the very same time in france uh, leonardo da vinci that he he reached the heavens because all men they want to you know, reach the heavens because um, they want to touch god they want to be uh you know the uh, icarus and they want to be Dallas and that they're gonna you know but they were cutting up they were performing a uh, vivisection upon live people organisms or well, animals yes by animals we eat uh, they're they have to you know the the there was the it's called the shilita well you got to do it careful got to do it they can't suffer but then again uh, it does not you're not a you're not a surgeon no no man you you don't have the credentials to be a surgeon uh, to uh, see naked pussies naked bodies and uh taking out uh, people's uh gowns and robes and this them disrobing in front of you uh, you don't have the credentials to do so uh leonardo uh, so you no know, leonardo who should burn in hell and go to jail Whereas uh, he was a humanitarian, I'll check like he, because he had a great father. His father was a, a great, respectable man. He cared for him. His whole family cared for his mother. His uncles cared for him, and he had a happy uh, childhood. He, whereas I read, you know, I get this uh, magazine that I read uh, just comes. I, I I filter it for like uh, Jewish things. Uh, the Quora Quora magazine comes to the email. And uh, the one was on, on a couple of months ago on Leonardo da Vinci, and it said that uh, that his father uh, has has fought, has had many. Uh, he fathered a lot of kids, and Leonardo da Vinci was one of them. And he was a bastard, like you know, a bastard. That his his father, the dad, was like some like you know. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't feel like coming up with the term. Generally, a mongrel that has sex with a lot of people, and Leonardo da Vinci was one of them. So he never had a father figure. But you know, well, uh, that's a man from academia. He started the universities. He was one of the very first university students. Uh, he is so great. He's the best, and he he was so good because he was not. Uh, he would not dare to cut up a person's body live. You know, it, you're hurting them. Now, he was not Joseph Mangele. Ugh. 